Hey everyone, my name is Sarah and I am going to walk you through today how to apply for your AANP exam. We are going to go start to finish through the entire application process. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So when you sit down to apply, there is no confusion and no questions. So first up here, the very first thing you are going to do is pull up a web browser. Any web browser is going to be fine. Into the top, you are then going to type in aanpcert.org. This is going to bring you up then to the AANP main page. On this main page here, you have two options. You can log in if you've previously created an account and you're returning, or if you go under certify, you can start fresh. You'll see the application process. You can read more into that. You can choose your exam, see what you need to be eligible to sit for that exam. You can see AGMP, FNP exam info. Once you select that you want to choose your exam, you're going to be brought to this certification page, which again, just breaks down every exam that AANP offers. We're gonna walk through the FNP exam today, so you'll go ahead and select apply which again brings you to the option to sign into your account if you've previously created one, or you can do the new user registration if you've not created an account yet. If you select new user registration, that's going to then bring you to this page here where you can create your account. You'll wanna put in your email, create a password for yourself, put in your mailing address and your phone number and all of your personal information here. It does ask for your license type as well. This is gonna be your RN license information. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit create account at the bottom and it will bring you then to this next page here. This page is where you're going to select your exam. So you'll log in as soon as you create that account, it'll bring you again to this screen here. Down at the very bottom, you're going to see two different certification options. You're going to want just the Family Nurse Practitioner National Certification Exam. Select that option and you'll go ahead and hit continue. Once you hit continue, that's going to bring you to this page where you're going to fill out your contact information. This is all of your personal information, social security information, name, address, everything that's personal. Once you complete this page here, that's going to then bring you to this education and clinical information. This is going to be everything about that nurse practitioner program that you completed. So you're going to put which program you attended, when you completed, when that degree will be conferred, which may not be the same day. So keep that in mind. Date of completion and degree conferral may be two separate dates, but you'll input those here input the total clinical clock hours that you completed, and then you're gonna fill in every didactic course that you completed. The biggest thing is you have to at least include the one patho, one farm, and one advanced physical assessment as those are required to sit. Next is gonna be your clinical practice sites that you had, fill out the practice information, the address, all of the information, the specialty, who your preceptor was, and again, add and save when you're done with that. When you complete this page, make sure that you fill it out in its entirety. You don't wanna miss any of this information. But when you complete this, you'll go ahead and hit the next button at the very bottom. That will then bring you to this license information page. And again, this is going to be that RN license that you currently have. So you'll select RN, you'll put in your license number, your state that you're in, the expiration date. You can also then select add board to notify. And this is gonna be when you pass your examination if you want them to notify your state board of nursing. So you'll click that. This is then where you're going to upload that official transcript and the verification of your RN license. So you'll have those files saved on your computer and then you can select a file to upload. Once you upload both of those, scrolling down further, this is just a statement that you wanna read through, make sure you understand and agree. You'll go ahead and type your name in at the bottom to sign and then you will hit continue. The next screen then that you're gonna be brought to is just the review and submit. So you wanna look this page over before you submit to it and you'll do the family nurse practitioner, confirm it's the exam you wanna take. If you're AGNP, you'll confirm it as the AGNP exam. Confirm the price here, go down, and then you'll review and you'll put in your payment information and you will go ahead and hit submit.